Okay, one of the most difficult things to do when you're cutting fire egg is getting all the overburden off of the top of your materials. This is a bench I designed and built some time ago. I just call it a cobbing bench. The term cobbing I came to know from the opal miners in Australia. They cob stone to get the opal out of it. This particular machine is <clears throat> designed around a 3400 RPM, three quarter horsepower motor. <clears throat> I machined an arbor for it. Fortunately, I have a lathe. <clears throat> I machined an arbor for it. This grinding wheel, for lack of a better term, it's a wet or dry concrete blade or tile blade, marble blade, whatever. It's 36 grit, so it's very aggressive. It almost melts the chalcedony out of place. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it on real quick and then I'll turn it off again just so you get an idea how fast it spins. It's got so much torque you can never slow it down. The light in the back is back there so when you're cutting on a piece of agate, the light shines through the, the capstone, the calcidines. You can see through it as you're working on it. So when you are cutting down you can watch you can tell when you're getting way down into the calcidines, which you'll see when I actually cob a stone. And then I have two lights up above, so I've got real good intense light on the stone. And then I also have another light over on my right. Uh, the best thing that you can do for lighting on your machines, in my opinion, again, is they're track lights and they're made for trade shows and you buy uh, I use Solux S-O-L-U-X full spectrum daylight bulbs they're 35 degree I believe but they give you true daylight so you don't you know you don't have to worry about being out in the sun and getting your head bald head burns and stuff when you're trying to get down to your fire and here in just a few minutes we'll show you something else. Okay, I'm getting ready to cob this calcidney layer off. I'm going to use a six inch diamond saw. I've got a what's called a centered saw blade in here. It's a relatively thin blade. It's got good diamond all the way down to no diamond. Cuts pretty quick, really smooth. There's other ways you can get this calcidney off, but so far this is the quickest way I've found. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this saw up. I do have this saw set where it runs at 3500 RPM. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of it off. I may end up editing quite a bit of this out. We'll see how long it takes.
put a screwdriver in there and pop a lot of that out of there. Um, I did get through right here. You can see a little bit of fire showing through. In fact, now that I've, I've gotten through the layer a little bit, I can see some real nice saginites and some real beautiful reds, you know, and there's a little bit of red showing through here. So to me, that's a good indicator there's going to be a nice stone down there, and I'm hoping there's going to be a gemstone down there. So now we'll move over to the copy machine once I drain my sickness off.